Okay, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of a luminous 4K screen paint using ambient light projection, technology gain, times four, five, and soon to be seven, which I can't wait. Now, I told you I was gonna be doing one of the demonstrations outside with an ultra short throw projector, and it just came today. Awesome freaking merchant. Came with HDMI cables, really cool. Thank you so much. Got a chance to plug, I'm gonna get a chance to plug this up and power this on. And we're gonna be doing some short throw demonstrations. Now, this is an Epson, 470 I own upstairs an Epson 460 the 460 doesn't come with HDMI but the 470 does that's around 2600 lumens so 720p of course also too I want to show you how we're going to be shipping off our labels so I invested in a heat gun and some uh, shrinking uh, strips uh, for sealing the tops and this right here will ensure that number one it's going to be tamper proof because on top of that we don't have to worry about the products being shipped to other locations they're not supposed to be at and being tampered with because these are going to have special seals so there's a seal combination that we add on here that we know exactly if the seal was popped or re or actually not only popped but actually reapplied back on to make it look like it's our um our own seal so that's something we took into precaution also too this also keeps the lids from unscrewing and popping open because they are sealed shut as you can see there is a seal wrapped around the top of it and they call shrink bands so this is what we're using we're using a form of shrink band now i know somebody's probably going to copy up the same thing we're doing feel free to do so you know we always do things first and everybody else follows behind us well not everything but you know i'm talking about all right so these are the shrink bands we got so the shrink bands will allow us to be able to put a seal around it, hit it with the heat gun, and this will shrink it to the container, and that'll keep the container from popping open. Also, too, it allows it to be tamper-proof. And like I said, we have a certain system on how we actually apply these on. We'll know exactly if someone actually applied one on, uh, or actually bought the product, shipped it to another location, and tried to put a reseal on it. We'll know exactly, uh, just by looking at it, um, how it's been done all right because there's a process on how to get into these containers now all right so that also too we get that out of the way right now so these are going to be the new containers uh for our um our one quartz these ones i just invested in these are also two going to have a form of shrink protection on it also too and of course we have the one gallon and we have the two gallon containers right there sorry two quart containers and one gallon all right so just showing off our new tamper proof seals and also too, like I said, these are also too considered to be safety seals because we don't have to worry about the containers uh, unscrewing. I don't even know how that even happens. Unscrews, unscrewing or leaking or anything like that because like I said, it'll have a vacuum seal or a heated seal all the way around it. All right, so showing you off the ultra short throw projector. We'll be using this outside because I said I want to do a demonstration on that new uh, seven, that um, that uh, technology superior uh, uh, gain, the uh, new seven, or uh, technology gain times seven. We'll just put it that way, or superior uh, gain times seven. So that's what we're calling it, and it's going to look absolutely incredible. So we're going to be using this with an ultra short throw. I'm going to go downstairs and test this bad boy out, and I'll show you the containers we have now. So I had to pretty much, if your order was late, it was due to the fact that I had to rebuy tons and tons of containers we sold out i mean we sold out so i had to order more containers more products more stuff in order to actually start processing more orders now this right here is my 146 inch uh this screen is actually with the projector that sits back around uh four feet so sorry four feet blah sorry about that around 14 feet eight inches or eight feet 14 feet, 8 inches. I'm sorry. I'm very tired. I had a long, long day today. I was up early in the morning. I had things that had to be taken care of today. I got orders. I got to push out the door. We got a new technology product. We're, we're, um, we're actually in the process of doing demonstrations outside. We're getting ready for that. And then consider the fact we've been ordering a lot of other screen paints. And uh, um, there's one particular screen paint we are having a problem with. But we're going to get around that because we had several people from Philadelphia try to make that order. And their orders were canceled. So I do have people actually in other states that are going to be processing and getting that paint to us. So we can begin doing those outside demonstrations with the new technology. Including other screen paints that will be involved. Some paints will be ordered from Amazon and other places also. Also, do, we also will be testing them outside against other high performance projection screens that are made for outside. This screen called the Yardmaster, I think by Elite Screens. We'll be doing demonstrations on that too with the technology outside. Now, 
The reason why these demonstrations are being done outside because we feel that we've pretty much conquered when it comes to inside AMB and light. You agree? We've done this. I've done this demonstration using 1100 lumens. So we've pretty much done all we can do inside. I think the best challenge I can get for a more superior gain would be doing the demonstrations outside. And of course, the projector we're going to be using for that demonstration for long throw will be my Sony. Uh, projector. This projector is my is my uh, I can get some light at here. Wait, some light see right here. This is my VPL um, X1000 projector, 1100 lumens. This projector is literally so old. The highest outputs it has on the back of it is analog. That's it. So, just some updates on showing things to come. And like I said, when it comes to even the Amulite rejection technology gain times four or five, they are absolutely superior. Uh, with the seven, we're gonna be using this mainly probably, we got a lot of entries from people who have companies that are interested in using this technology, especially people who are gonna be using this for outdoor movie theater setups, especially uh, contracts with bigger companies that have drive-in theaters that can use that technology to be able to watch movies at an earlier time instead of having set times where it's a little darker where they won't have too much interference with outside light. Now keep in mind, if we're doing this back at around uh, 10 to 12 feet on 1100 lumens outside around 5 or 6 o'clock. Imagine what they can do with the projectors that they have in their facility. Easy cakewalk for the technology. And like I said, also too, keep in mind we're going to be developing some cheap, cheap screen paints. All right, and we're going to be doing this side by side with a lot of these other screen paints to show you that there may not be much of a difference that you could pretty much do this. If you're going to go cheap on your projector, if you pretty much don't care about what your picture quality is going to look like, you can do it for $23 a gallon. And we'll show you that also too. All right, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you all for your time. Giving you more updates, more updates, more updates on what we're doing and ways we're improving our product so basically gets to you better. Also too, those of you that are interested in the K&A projectors, we have a couple more coming in. Keep in mind, those projectors will now come with signature confirm, which means the postal worker cannot leave the package on your front because you don't have to worry about a package van to come along and taking it from you. It requires students to confirm. And that being said, they have to take it back to the post office. If you don't see it there, that means it's at the post office. They can't leave it there because it requires a signature to release it. And we're going to be doing that with a lot of our screen paints, I think, from now on. Because this will make it easier for our customers that they're at work or whatever they're doing. They have that comfort of knowing that, hey, look, at least it's probably at the post office. I don't have to worry about somebody setting it down and having it stolen. All right. Thank you all for your time. Time. Next demonstration I'll be doing on this short throw right here. I got to get going. Thank you all and God bless. And I hope you like the update. We got a lot of interesting videos to start doing outside. I can't wait for those demonstrations. I can't wait for, me, for us to finally finish the final touches to that, that formula for that, um, that Ambulite Rejection Technology Game Time 7. All right, got to go. Let me show you some more sides of my screen. See how beautiful that looks. All right, gotta go.